So what do you eat when you live in a van? This is actually a surprisingly difficult question to answer. One thing about vans that seems pretty consistent across the board is that the kitchens are just not so great. I've done a lot to make this kitchen efficient, but it's pretty minimal. And one thing that you can't get around is that there is less storage space, especially in the fridge. And cleanup is a hassle, especially when you're trying to be conservative with water. So it's taken me a couple years to get to this point, but I finally have a method for meal prep that I feel like works really well. And so for the next week, I'm going to be showing you everything I eat. And for the first time ever, I am going to be counting calories and calculating my macros. And so at the end of this video, I'm going to do an analysis of my diet, and what I might change in the future. So I hope you find this interesting. First up, we're making beanwa burritos for dinner, and I'm also doing some meal prep. So I'm going to cut up all these veggies and most of them I'm going to save for a later meal. Okay, so this bag of mixed veggies is going to be the base of my meals for the next few days. It's just onions, broccoli, mushrooms, and bell pepper. And uh, that's basically what looked the freshest at the store. I'm on the Alcan right now, so options are kind of limited, but these all looked good. And obviously pre-chopping your vegetables is going to make them not last as long, but I'm going to eat these really quickly, so that's not going to matter. So when it comes to seasoning food, I definitely consider myself to be a novice but one thing I do know is that lots of salt goes a long way to making your food palatable. So we're gonna go pretty crazy with the salt. And then I've got some Chipotle chili powder. Oop, that might be a little bit too much. And then I like to go light on the garlic powder. I don't have patience to peel garlic, so I use garlic powder and then we'll put a little pepper. And then I'm seasoning this kind of heavy because I'm going to add the beanwa. All right, and now we're gonna add the beanwa, which of course is just beans and quinoa. And then we'll just top with the, a lot of bit of cheese. I don't know why I'm drinking a non-alcoholic beer. I just decided to try it and actually it kind of hits the spot without being alcohol, which is nice. Mm, mm-hmm, mm, mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, that was pretty unexpected. Uh, the smoke rolled in. That's smoke, not fog. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I feel sick, so I'm not gonna have breakfast. I'm just gonna try to drive and get through the fog and then maybe we'll pull over and eat some food once I uh, get my appetite back. Kind of a weird start to this video. I definitely tend to indiscriminately just shovel food in my mouth throughout the day, so this is making things a lot harder. I feel like I'm eating less today because I usually just grab handfuls of like Fritos or trail mix and just <sighs> while I'm driving, but because I have to come back here and weigh it and count the calories, it's making it harder, so. I'm definitely very much addicted to candy and I'm interested to see like when I binge candy just how bad it is in terms of like my macro nutrition. So yeah, I'm doing a beanwa burrito again tonight. You'll notice my diet is pretty repetitive and uh, yeah, I don't mind that, but I know that would drive some people crazy. I'm also gonna have a soda. This is not a clean eating vlog or whatever, <laughs> in case you were wondering. I'm just giving you a realistic look of what I eat when I live in a van, and I, I know there's room for improvement. Everything makes him laugh.
Well, it is a misty, smoky morning here at Walmart. And uh, yeah, I think yesterday some of that, that smoke that I was seeing was actually fog. But I know at some point the fog did clear and the smoke was still just like, just as thick. So uh, it's pretty crazy. I think we're gonna punch through the smoke today. But anyways, this is about food and I am hungry. So we are going to make a big breakfast burrito for breakfast today. I actually like eating a big breakfast because then I don't have to stop for food later and I can just snack throughout the day and it'll usually get me to dinner. And I season my breakfast the same way I season my dinner. Salt, chipotle chili powder, garlic powder, and I know this sounds weird but I'm gonna throw a little turmeric in there. Just a little bit. Oh man, I'm feeling pretty fried today. I bought this salad kit a few days ago and I uh, want to eat it before it goes bad. So this is dinner, which is perfect because I'm feeling real lazy tonight. It's crazy how big Canada is. It's, it's kind of painful how big it is. Well, my avocado finally ripened, so basically the same as yesterday, but we've got some avocado on top, which is going to be a nice uh, change of pace. Oh boy. I feel like I'm taking a really clinical, oops, we are not level at all. I feel like I'm taking a really clinical approach to all of this. These mini cucumbers are so good. And um, I think they're grown in BC. And then with dill pickle hummus, mm, it's, it's a perfect combination. I'm having a, a raisin flavored cola tonight. I think in Canada, they're not allowed to use corn syrup. So all the sodas are sweetened with real sugar and just tastes better to me. It might just be placebo, but I, I swear it tastes better. All right, um, man, this tortilla is tiny. Oh, uh, this one. Oh no, yeah, I don't know. If you work at Chipotle, leave it in the comments below. Yeah, this is rough. I need bigger, I need bigger tortillas, but <clears throat> we are gonna be able to pick this up and eat it, so. Well, we're back in the US of A, so I'm having some American delicacies tonight. Uh, I actually really like this stuff. It's Olipop, it's like a soda alternative. I'm not saying it's healthy, but it's like half the calories of a regular can of soda, and it has prebiotics and plant fiber, so pretty cool. Um, they're stupid expensive though. And Taco Bell, 
There is Taco Bell in Canada, but not where I was. So it's been like two months since I've had Taco Bell. I, I love Taco Bell. It's genuinely a staple of my diet. Normally I get uh, a rice and bean burrito and two spicy potato soft tacos. And that winds up being about a thousand calories and it costs less than $5. Like. It's a full meal for less than five bucks, which is pretty much impossible to find anywhere else these days. So Taco Bell is my savior when I'm living on the road. And again, yeah, probably not the healthiest thing, but it's just, it's good and it's cheap and it's consistent, so. I had to try the new menu item, the new chicken taquitos with spicy ranch. Uh, they're kind of expensive, $4 for two, but pretty good. I gotta give credit where it's due. Man, I miss being in the US. I love Canada. I actually think van life is easier in Canada, but something about America. Um, I know it's kind of a messed up place, but it's like my mess, if that makes sense. Like, I, I just feel at home here. Dang, 76 grams of maple syrup. So I'm getting my tires rotated right now and uh, yeah, they found that one of my wheels is bent and I know exactly when that happened. It was on the Alaska side approaching the top of the world highway. I hit a huge pothole with just the rear tire and that's the, the wheel that's bent. All right, we got the nice and crusty spare wheel mounted up. They said this wheel was bent too, but not nearly as bad as this one. Um, I guess you have to see it spinning because I can't really tell. But uh, yeah, I guess that is a little uh, oblong. but well worth it. I gotta say, this is the most relaxed I've felt in my van in a really long time. There's no bears here. I'm allowed to be here as long as I want. There's no traffic noise. There's no people around. Just me hanging out in the desert, which is kind of what I always envisioned myself doing when I lived in a van. Mm -hmm. Eh, not the best wrap, but not the worst. All right, as you can see, I've got a very similar-ish assortment of vegetables for dinner for next week. This is the final night that I'm going to be counting calories and I'm doing my other meal. I, I basically alternate between these two. So it looks like it's going to be the same, but I'm making something totally different for dinner tonight. And then I'll, of course, I'll have my veggie mix for breakfast tacos slash burritos. Ooh. 
Oh, it's so full. Oh, it's so hot. So yeah, pretty simple veggies, pasta, cheese, and sauce. And uh, I top it with barbecue sauce also because I'm a sugar addicted maniac. Oh my God, this is pressurized. This has just been like the most chaotic session of cooking. I think the combination of trying to weigh things and having the camera running, it's just, it's just too much. All right, I did the final tally and it's actually not too bad. My average caloric intake of 2,400 calories a day is probably a little bit high considering I was largely sedentary the last week because I was just driving. I went for short walks and short hikes, but didn't do much of anything substantial. And then only getting 17% of my calories from protein is a little bit low in my opinion. Although for a lot of people that is well within the healthy range. So I think I can probably boost my percentage calories from protein and lower my overall caloric intake if I just cut out candy, soda, and chips. So anyways, uh, I hope you found that interesting and uh, I know that the way I eat probably wouldn't work for many other people, but the method of just getting the cutting board out once a week, cutting up a big bag of vegetables and just having veggies on hand ready to be cooked has been perfect for me. I would like to eat more fruits and veggies and now that I'm back down in the States, that's going to be easier, but produce was far and few between up in the Yukon and it was really expensive. And if you're looking to make changes to your diet, uh, obviously you should talk to a doctor or a registered dietitian, of which I am neither, but I can offer a couple of pieces of advice or really just one piece of advice that has helped me a lot. I would suggest making incremental changes to your diet. So first make no changes, track your calories and just write down everything you eat. I think just doing that is enough for a lot of people to start making that positive change. Like when you have to write down your fifth trip to Taco Bell in the last two days, it's a bit of an eye opener and it helps you say, okay, maybe I should limit Taco Bell to once a day. And then once every few days and then once a week. And I think just slow incremental changes are going to be better for you ultimately. Because if you take out everything that your body is used to eating and replace it with something new, you're gonna feel upset. Your body's not gonna be getting what it's used to. You're going to be dysregulated. And I don't think that's the way to go about it. So that's just my opinion. Obviously talk to your doctor and uh, thanks for watching.